Welcome to Sleep Story Hypnosis. Hello and good evening. My name is Tanya and I am your focus. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. I have a hypnotic story to read you. I'm getting you all ready for bed. It's been a long day. How was your day? Was it long? Hard? Are you tired? I'm just glad you're here. So glad you're here. I'm all dressed up in my PJs. It's a snuggly onesie. Snuggly onesie. Snuggly onesie. And I wore it to be snuggled up next to you. I'm so glad you're home. I've waited for you all day. I know work is hard. But that's why I got all ready to greet you with a story and a smile. I rolled my hair as well. It's very retro. Retro. And I wore my favorite unicorn just for you. And today, I just feel like doing a sleep story. So, without further ado, I think it's time to read to you. So, let's put this nice little... Oh, it's cute. I should attach that permanently. I like this stuff. I think it's perfect. All right. We'll make that more centered later on. But for now, even our microphone, Yeti, Mr. Yeti, is going to sleep. Just like you need to. So, without further ado, it's time. All right, so let's go ahead and start this sleep story, shall we? All right, so it's time to do a sleep. This is a sleep hypnosis for confidence. And then you're going to softly and slowly let it go, releasing any tension or trapped energy as you do. You can even fake a yawn. So you know that it's time to rest. It's just a fake one. And if you have a real one, a real yawn, it's even better. But for right now, you can make yourself yawn and it'll make you tired. So you know it's time to relax. This is your time to have some special time. All right, you sleepy little sleepers, my wonderful focusers. Let's start this story to help you sleep so deep. And that way you can have a wonderful day tomorrow because that's what it's all about. So you can have enough energy to focus on the tasks ahead. You have creations to create, and you have empires to build that are all your own. And you're doing such a good job. I'm proud of you. I hope you know that. All right. So, without further ado, I've got a sleep story for you. Sit back and relax. Put up your feet. Or lay back and pull up the sheets. Because just in a little second or two, I'm going to have a few words to read to you. And you don't have to do a thing. You just listen to my voice and drift to sleep. I just made that up just now just for you, because you're worth it. All right, let's start this journey. All right, so let's start this journey, shall we? I had to fix my hair so it would get out of my face, so that way I could just focus on the story to, to read just to you. 
from my mind. I'm delivering it from me to you with my mind. I hope you like it. Because I like to write. And I like to tell stories. And I like to sing songs. And I like to make up songs. And I like to write poetry. Just. All right, so let's start. If you will allow me, I would like to tell you a nice, relaxing, hypnotic story to help you fall asleep. Please make yourself as comfortable as you can, wherever you are. Close your eyes, relax, and listen to the sound of my voice. I would just like to begin by talking about some relaxing things that might help you clear your mind that may so that you can become more deeply relaxed and you can listen to the story if you think it's relaxing to listen to the sound of my voice that's wonderful but anytime you find it more relaxing to ignore what I'm saying let my words fade into the background and allow your mind to simply drift and wander. You may do so and know that whether you're listening or not, there's always, there's always a part of your mind that will hear what I'm saying and use the suggestions contained here to follow your relaxed, sleepy feelings into sleep and good dreams. Please remember, anything that I say is only suggestions. I don't even not have to focus on or do anything to be able to drift comfortably off into a long, sound sleep. This is the time that you've set aside to relax and enjoy yourself. So you're only to do what you find pleasurable. And speaking of relaxing things, it might help for a moment if you focus on your breathing. Take a nice, soft, deep breath in. Hold it for a second and just let it go. Breathe normally and naturally. And with each soft exhale, you can relax a little deeper. That's right. With each cleansing breath, you can become a little bit more relaxed. And I feel a little better with each breath, each breath relaxing you deeper. There may be some sounds happening around you. And if this is true, you can use these sounds to help you relax. Be here only quiet. That's okay. That's fine too. Even the sound of silence can be used to help you sink deeper into relaxation and into sleep. Think of any sound you hear as only vibrations out there somewhere. You know, once the information reaches your brain through your ears, you interpret it, the sound, and then label it as relaxing or unwanted. For this moment right now, you can simply leave these vibrations out there and receive the stillness out there and let it be out there. You know your brain is still processing this information and that's okay. That is what brains do. And while it's doing that, you could focus on the quiet within yourself and appreciate how wonderful, peaceful, and quiet it can be inside of yourself right now. When you clear your mind of all the upsetting and distracting thoughts, just listen to the sound of my voice or your own soft breathing. When you listen to your breathing, such a gentle, soft, whispering sound, inside of yourself you can imagine for a moment the sound of your breathing is just like the sound of the waves 
lapping up on the still shore of a beach. In your mind's eye, picture yourself for a moment sitting or lying on the soft sand, still warm from the hot day that is over now. Feel how comfortable the soft sand is, gently supporting your weight on a warm, still night. Just a slight breeze, maybe. You can still see the waves by the light of the bright full moon, watching the water go out and then roll back in. And you can hear your breath, the soft sound of your breath, pulling in and then rolling out again. Such a relaxing sound and you are completely relaxed. Just being there on this perfect night, growing more and more relaxed with each gentle little wave that rolls in on your blind shore. Your mind is clean, clear, peaceful, and clear as you enjoy what's around you. You could look at the night sky and make it any way you would like it to be. You could add luminous wisps, a cloud, a bright shining stars. You could add sage grass or any kind of trees you would like. This is your story. You are the, right, the main character, and I would like you to fill in as many details as you would like, just the way you want them to be. Your story. It's very important for you to be relaxed, so in your quiet place, I'd like you to run a quick scan of your body to make sure every muscle has released all tension. You could imagine every fiber of every muscle going loose, limp, and relaxed, soft and floppy. That's right. There's nothing you need to hang on to anymore. You can just let it all go for now. Every cell and every muscle still and open to receive positive and relaxing energy. If there's any tension left in your body that you would like to hold on to, that's okay. You can release it when you're ready to completely relax. And if you're still at the beach, you can look at the stars and perhaps see one moving. It could be interesting if one of the stars that looks so far away started to move from left to right across the sky and you can see it getting brighter and start moving faster and faster and then disappear over the horizon. And then you stand up and then you're walking along the soft sandy beach and the bright moonlight towards where you saw the star disappear so far away. The water st stretching out to your left and trees, bushes, and undergrads to your right, and just up ahead, to your right, there's something in the bushes. They rustle and move just for an instant, and you see a flash of light. You go towards the bush, and it has become still. The light is gone. You sit again on more sand to wait to see whatever it was, and to see if it will return. As you wait patiently, you watch the stars, and right away, you notice one of them is red, very red. The star is slowly lowering itself towards the water and growing larger and brighter as it does. Soon, you see it out there as hovering just over the water, the rich red light coming from this floating sphere, reflecting on the waves as they come and become completely still. The air stands still and everything becomes encased in an ethereal silence. The red orb is traveling 
just really towards you and you're beginning to get an idea of its size. It would be just a little bigger than the room that you are in right now. As you watch it approach, you feel a slight tingling sensation in your feet. And as your feet are now standing there, sinking into the warm sand, there's tingling begins to grow and your feet begin to feel very hot. Not hot enough to be burning, but quite warm, just the same. From your knees down, it's feeling a little numb and tingling. And then you notice, is this because, is this because the because ground below is, is vibrating? Just a little bit. These vibrations are strengthening as the orb is coming ashore and headed right towards you where you are standing. The sand is shifting and slithering beneath your feet. You step sideways to let the large glowing red ball pass because you don't want to be knocked over by it. Do you take a few steps? steps. You find you're on solid, solid ground. The vibrations are still there. Your feet start to cool down. This thing stops. Hovering over the exact spot that you are. It's just standing on the sand there. It's vibrating away from the center of a circular area that appears to be made out of clear glass. And you step back again for a moment. And the vibrations cease. And all is quiet and still. are away, lapping against the shore gently. The slight breeze is back. All seems to be quite normal. Except there's a very large growing red orb just in front of you, hovering about a foot above over an equally large area of smooth glass in the middle of your beach. On the hands and knees, you crawl up to the edge of the glass and peer down to see what you can see then and there. And there is a vortex under the glass, black and gray, swirling downward to a point so far away. Where you reach out your hand to touch the glass. And when you do, you're surprised to put your hand into what feels like thick, warm water. There's a slight tug, and you quickly pull your hand away and grow back several feet as the orb slowly floats down and then disappears into the abyss. The ground vibrates again, causing the strangely floating sand to drift back into a place. And then all is still again. And there's not even a trace of the weirdness that just happened a few seconds ago. So everything is fine and peaceful and normal again. Just a moment, and then the bushes are not behaving. There's a rustling. There's a and rustling. A and a bluish white flash of light. And a faint bluish white flash of light. As you as turn to catch whatever this is. As you turn, try to catch whatever this is. But then all is still again. But just behind the bushes, you hear very clearly so many people. Looking further and down, but see nothing. Behind these bushes are a dense, thick, old forest. If you are somewhere tropical right now, you could make it a jump. Whatever you would like to make it, this place is too dark to see into. You stroll along inside the underbrush for just a few moments, and very soon, come across the path into the forest. The bottom of this path is soft sand, just like the beach. And if you look far ahead up the path, way up to just before it bends, you see it softly glowing mist drifting across. Just enough light so that you can have something to aim for as a destination. You are hoping to find answers and to these curiosities as you direct your path. Your steps upon the path 
You survey the path on either side, searching for giggles. You're still quiet. Everything's quiet. Everything is still and quiet as you begin to wade through the cool mist and follow the wind and the path. Sing, the mist is getting thicker and brighter and higher up, traveling up your body as you walk deeper into the forest and deeper into the mist. Bright and clean, it has an unusual aroma. You can't quite put your finger on it. As you breathe in through your nose, you decide this is a very pleasant smell, a familiar smell, but your feet still not sure what it's like. It smells almost like clean laundry or mist. This mist has an unusual feel to it as it grows dense and very cold. You notice you feel warm and comfortable inside. The coldness of this mist does not bring your body temperature down, not one degree. The opposite may be the case. The colder the mist gets, the warmer you feel inside. You can see nothing as you walk through this dense white fog. So you step very slowly. As you do, your breath begins to come out like plumes of steam swirling around you, disturbing the uniform stillness of the substance you are walking through. You breathe deeply and evenly, watching the vapor swirl out of your mouth and rise up out of your mouth into the mist. And it begins to clear, and you can just make out the trees on the sides of the path. The light stays with you, and you soon, you soon the sun has come out while you are locking upon the path. But you are not sure if it's time for the sun to come up, and you can't remember if you'd been walking along this path for a few minutes or for many hours. You assume it must not have been a very long because you don't feel tired at all. The mist is clearing and you feel unusually good. Awake, aware, alive, happy, and relaxed. The sand beneath your feet is now snow and your feet still feel very warm almost hot. Musical tingling sounds are coming from the trees around you. You see long icicles flowing, dangling. You assume that that must be the sound that they're bumping against each other, like wind chimes, but in a place where there's no wind. And you've given up trying to make sense of anything anymore. The air is clear and still on a bright, sunny day and sparkling with frost. A fat, white rabbit watches you from the side of the path, chewing a long stalk of green grass where there's only snow. You decide you're dreaming and so allow the bunny to enjoy his drink in peace as you carry on along the path. You are going up a small but steep hill point and you realize how easy it is. You feel as if your feet are almost not even touching the ground, almost weightless, so easy and free. At the top of the hill, you see that you've come across a large great valley. You stop to breathe in. Breathe in the updraft of warm, moist air rushing up over your body and enjoying having the air temperature outside match the warmth you feel within. The path is red narrow up ahead as it winds down into the valley. The valley is grassy and green. There are no trees or shrubs or flowers, just grass. Before you begin your descent, you inspect the grass before you. It is neither very long or very short. And every blade looks exactly the same. You look up at the bright blue cloudless sky above you and you notice there's no sun. The shadows cast from these blades of grass seem too short, precise. 
progress. They don't seem to agree on a direction for a blade. So you start walking down a steep path towards a valley. Warm air lifting your hair and clothes. Making you feel lighter. With each step down, you feel more and more relaxed. More peaceful. Feeling even lighter as the warm wind lifts you. You feel so light. Your feet are hardly touching the ground. And then you notice your feet aren't touching the ground anymore. And you're floating down, just above the path, carried by a warm wind. You feel a little bit of a butterfly sensation in your stomach as you move you down towards the bottom of the valley. This is a very pleasant feeling. When you reach the bottom, there is no path. Just an expanse of soft, green, uniform grass. So you feel the tickle at the bottom of your feet for just a moment before the wind dies down. And you land softly and comfortably on this warm, soft ground. Walking across the valley, enjoying the feeling of freedom, of open and empty space. And you notice no birds or insects. The only living thing you see walking across the valley is a fat white rabbit that watches you walk by without moving very much. The air smells of fresh green grass and it's a lovely, if not an odd green god day. And you are aware of a spot in the sky that's a different shade of blue than the sky around it. And it's only a small spot, small around and growing bigger. You stop welcoming the approach of something else when a slight tingling feeling begins in your feet. Warm and hot and vibrating and none. This blue one is just another orb and this one is another shiny silver. You can see how it's blue on top, and it's reflecting the green grass below, but only blue is just a little darker, as is the green. As this comes towards you, you take a few clumsy steps to get out of its way and sit on the softly vibrating grass to see what comes next. Now, the blades of grass up the orb right where you were just standing, are vibrating more strongly and falling over and vibrating away instead of the smooth grass that you saw at the beach. The color here is mauve and waxy in appearance. The vibration stops. And you lean over to feel the surface of the irregular circle of light purple. It is firm, but yielding and warm. It is still, yet not quite still. It feels as if it is alive. You stand up, cautiously push one plate foot on it, and press down, enjoying the soft, springy feeling. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem to mind. So you stand up with both feet, little and steady, and bounce a little. Still, it offers no profess, protest, so your attention shifts to the tiny orb in front of you. You can see your reflection in it, and your feet appear very tiny, while your head looks humongous. You reach out a hand to touch it. When your hand sinks into the surface that often offers little resistance, you notice this thing is beginning to raise up slightly and slowly this time you don't want to be left behind. So you use the surface below you as a springboard and you launch yourself into the shiny ball. You tumble for a moment and it takes a few seconds to get your bearings and you find yourself floating into the sky, peaceful and still. You are suspended and not spalling. Around you are some voluminous cumulus clouds spaced out 
able to, so you can be able to make out the scene below. You see ocean, a land, and a small white beach separating. You feel that same butterfly feeling in your stomach as you begin to descend, drifting towards the cage. As you get closer, you see there are some tall buildings along the shoreline, and there's people on the beach. Float, you're floating along, and none of them seem to be noticing you. They're eating lunch or playing ball, making sand castles or swimming, but none of them seem to be aware you're there, floating over them and watching. Just up ahead, you see a section of the head sand. It's beginning to turn. The people are undisturbed. The turning speeds up, and colorful bathing suit-clad bodies, along with towels, blankets, and kids with buckets and shovels, blur to a colorful vortex, swirling down into the earth. No one seems to be even aware, at the least, of the spinning hull in their reality. And the ship positions itself over the hull and gently lowers itself gently into it, floating there and watching the colors of sand and summer apparently swirl around you. You feel so calm and still, just letting it happen. The stillness inside your protective bubble is in stark contrast to the whirling blur of color around you. But then the storm begins to settle and the colors begin to change to pinks, to blues, to pale yellows, softly billowing smoke around you. Soon you see sparks and specks of light coming towards you and then moving further away. At first, you're not sure if you're floating up or down, but soon you realize you're traveling. You feel like you're traveling sideways. The tiny lights wink out one by one as, you're, as the color of the mist fades to light, white. Below you, you can see you're traveling slowly over the surface of soft white sand, and the mist begins to clear, and you find yourself at a beach very much like the one you were on when you began this adventure. In the underbrush along the tree line, you see here and there flashes of light and moving leaves softly in the distance. You even hear the occasional giggle. This has made you very curious. You still want to see what it is that's in the bushes. So, you make a few swimming motions and are able to make it to the side of your enclosure where you easily sleep through and land on the beach. It's still nighttime and you're not sure if it's the same nighttime or a different one. The moon is so much larger than you used to it being, taking up a good portion of the sky. You can make out all the details of the critters on the surface, and it lights up the beach with a soft gray glow. You turn towards the bushes, where you see flashes of light, and as you get near, they become dark and still. Large, dark green leaves reflecting the moonlight. You sit down on the warm sand, and beginning to feel very tired very sleepy and don't want to bother with whatever's in the bushes. It's been a long night and you're growing weary and more edgier because you just want to go to sleep. So you lie down and make yourself comfortable while your heavy droopy eyelids gently slide shut, blocking out your view of the oversized moon. And you listen to the sound of the waves of the beach. And you own very soft, slow breathing as you drift off to sleep. You hear the sound of your breathing and the sound of your waves are the same thing. 
And you think of how relaxing and enjoyable it is to just drift off to sleep, listening to this relaxing sound. You might have heard a giggle. Or maybe some soft voices far away, but you don't care because you don't want to have to think too hard or try to figure out anything right now because it is so much more enjoyable to focus on the peaceful, still silence within you and the soft sound of your breathing as you drift off into sleep, warm and comfortable. You think how nice it would be to sleep on this beach tonight and wish you had breath, brought a pillow and a blanket, and as you have this thought, you feel a soft and light blanket being pulled up over you, and feeling as if somebody's pushing a pillow underneath your head, and you don't try to chase or follow anything, and just allow this to happen, and stay very still, and very relaxed, you open your eyelids just a little bit, just enough to see what's happening and you see standing beside you a small person she's just over two feet tall with a flowing robe wrapped around her so light it appears to be made of dead softly glowing mist it seems to float and swirl in a non-existent breeze she can have any color skin you would like and whatever style hair pleases you. She could be cute, ugly, beautiful. I only ask she wear a kind, a loving expression. Behind her, shimmering translucent and barely visible, are two sets of two wings, very gently opening and closing. She knows you are looking at her. Yet she seems less shy than her friends, making small noises in the bushes. You roll over to see her better, and then wrap yourself in this soft, warm, and miraculous light white blanket. As you want to keep looking at her, but are finding it difficult. It's as if someone has put sleepy dust in your eyes, and you need to close them and relax them just a little while. Just close your eyes so tired. Just rest, drifting off, feeling warm, loved, and comfortable. You see, you hear the soft twittering of little voices and feel calm and still. As you call, as you manage to open your eyes one last time and see four more of these little people fluttering out of the bushes, holding all in a floating golden orb over to where you're lying. The sphere is very much smaller than you were interacting with earlier, and it seems so light. The fairies are flo floating off into sand. And now and again, to keep control of it, to keep it from floating away, they position into this, they position this in the sand beside you, between yourself and the watching person. She has something sharp in her hands. She swipes at the orb with it, and then the golden globe disappears. Left in its place is a small chest. Dirty old wood, metal and leather. As you sit up a little bit and reach out to open it, you frighten away the four fairies who take flight to the bushes and then disappear in flashes of light. The one remains behind to watch you. The lid is stiff and the wood is rough beneath your head. So let's see what we can ex expect to see there. Yes, this is treasure of the most typical variety, all gold coins, strings of corals, precious gems of all descriptions. You like this gift and are grateful to have it. You look towards the one who's watching you and feel grateful towards her. And you know she feels your gratefulness. She knows what you feel without even saying it. And you know that your message 
been received as she as she smiles and walks under the underbrush towards, towards the bush and then disappears with a quick soft light and you snuggle inside your bed and feeling very happy so glad that you had this adventure feeling very happy and glad that you had this adventure I'm looking forward to tomorrow where so many good things are going to happen to you so many good things are going to happen to you but for right now you're very tired and would like to rest so you completely relax and allow your body to grow heavy and sink just a little deeper to a warm soft sand bed and just let it all go for now you're very tired and would like to rest so you're completely relaxed and allow your body to grow heavy and sift just a little deeper to your little soft bed and just let it all go for now. So you completely relax and allow your body to grow heavy and sink just a little deeper to your the warm, soft, sandy bed. Just let it all go for now. Outside yourself. Is completely peaceful and still, except for the gentle swishing sound of the waves rolling out of the shore and then rolling back again, only to roll in once more inside of yourself. It's just the same with your body still still and relaxed, and your mind clean, clear, peaceful and still. Only sound you hear inside yourself is a soft sound of your soft, slow, sleepy breathing, sounding just like the waves on the beach. All is well with the world, and this night is perfect for sleep. The sound of the waves and the sound of your breathing emerge, merges into one, and you know Every little living thing for miles around you is deeply and peacefully asleep. The sound of the waves, the sound of your breathing merges one. And you know, every little thing for miles around is deeply and peacefully asleep. And now is the time to join them. Just gently allow your consciousness to slip away somewhere far away you might hear someone speaking to you but that is so far away now and you do not need to listen anymore so you could just let that voice fade away as you go off to sleep and now is the time to join them so just gently allow your consciousness to slip away somewhere far you might hear somebody speaking to you, but that's so far away now, and you don't need to listen anymore. So you can just let that voice fade away as you go into sleep and into your dreams. The voice will set, count down some numbers. The voice will count down some numbers. So just gently allow your consciousness to slip away somewhere far. You might hear somebody speaking to you, but that's so far away now, and you don't need to listen anymore. So you can just let that voice fade away as you go into sleep and into your dreams. The voice will set and with each number, the relaxation will deepen, and you'll sink deeper and deeper into sleep. And when you don't hear numbers, anymore. They've all drifted away to wherever numbers go when they're not needed anymore. You will stay in this still, peaceful, and quiet place until it's time for you to wake up, feeling more well-rested than you ever had before. But for right now, you know, in this moment, the only thing left to do is gently drift down to the soft darkness and into sleep. Going deeper with each number. Set, count down some numbers. And with each number, your relaxation will deepen. 
and you will sink deeper and deeper into sleep. And when there are no more numbers anymore, when they've all just drifted away to wherever numbers go and they are not needed anymore, you will stay in the still and peaceful and quiet until it's time for you to wake up, feeling more well-rested than you ever have before. But for right now, you know, in this moment, the only thing left to do is to gently drift down into the soft darkness and into sleep, going deeper with each number. Eighty, seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight. focus. I am your focus. Sleep well, my beautiful sleeper, and my fabulous focuser. Sleep well.